Everybody back with another video. Got a project here. Uh, we're working on the pool, and I thought I'd take you along for uh, one of the things that we had to do with it. So uh, uh, stick with us, and uh, we'll get right into it. The video today, we're going to be adding salt to the pool. Uh, this is a great way to not have to buy chlorine anymore and reduce your uh, cost on chemicals. It's a little bit of a cost up front, but really not as bad as you might think. You'll spend a fraction of the cost on this system versus what it cost you on chlorine and chemicals for the entire year. So uh, let's get into it. Now what I'm going to do here is using a, a Clorox brand uh, salt PPM checker and it's just test strips. And I'm using the uh, packaging that it came in. So instructions say to uh, pull about an inch or so of water out of the pool and then take your test strip and just put it in there and let it soak. So we're going to let that soak for a little while. It doesn't say how long it takes. It says uh, collect a sample of water in a clean small cup. Only about an inch of water is necessary. Place the test strip into the sample and allow it to soak until the yellow band at the top uh, the strip turns dark. And it was a lighter color when I started and the band is yellow so we're going to let that sit there and soak up some salt. Now <clears throat> we had about 10,000 gallons of water delivered which is city water. I have no idea how much salt content is in that water. Uh, it does have chlorine in it when it's delivered so uh, this is this water's been in there since Sunday. Um, it's been uh, it's been in there about a week. I did add about um, maybe a quart of chlorine uh, as we were filling it the rest of the way with uh, well water, uh, just to help keep uh, the chlorine levels up a little bit, keep the algae and stuff from growing. So now we've got the uh, water level up to where uh, with it's in, it's in the acceptable range. We're still adding water to it, uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get some salt going and I'm going to show you the method that I use to, to get the salt going and uh, our last pool uh, we had uh, salt in it as well and we loved it. So what we're going to be using is uh, Clorox pool salt and if you look at the back it gives you a range of how much salt you're going to need. Now it says if you have zero ppms and we have approximately 17,000 gallons of water here when, when we're all said and done. Uh, so let's just run off the 15,000. If it says uh, zero ppms, we're going to need 15 bags. If it's at 1,000, we're going to need about 8 bags. And I'm assuming we got some salt levels in the pool. And uh, I didn't test it prior to going to get, but I did get uh, uh, 8 bags. So uh, I'm, I'm going to be pretty close, if not right on the money, when we're all said and done. Well, it might take a while for that test strip to get... Uh... might take a while for that test strip to get uh, where it needs to be, but I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll uh, cut the video here and I'll come back after that's um, where it needs to be. You know, I'll show you what it looks like back the test strip has uh, reached critical mass we'll call it if you look the test strip this uh, uh, strip right here is yellow when you start now it's turned dark and then you look at the scale and you see that we are barely at one if anything you see that lighter section I don't know how well that's showing up on camera but uh, we are only at one so now if you look at the bottle one isn't even on the scale because it starts at three. Uh, we are going to want to be somewhere between 2,500, 3,500, something like that. Let's start to get some adding some uh, uh, pool salt and we'll dial it in and uh, look at our directions a little closer as far as how many, how many, uh, let's see here, it says, um, Typical saltwater pools operate between three and 4,000 ppms, so we are definitely way in the hole. All right, so what I've done is I take, I took that, 
took that bag of salt and I just dumped it in a five gallon bucket, okay? And uh, this, again, this is my method of adding salt to uh, an above ground pool anyway. If you have an in ground pool and you got drains on the bottom, uh, you could probably just pour it right in the pool uh, and sweep it around with a broom and get it right down to the drains and have it circulate. However, we don't have that option. This is a brand new liner and I do not want salt to sit right on the liner uh, at, at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is add it to the uh, skimmer. And I don't want to tax my pump and filter, so this is why I'm doing it this way. So I've added it to a five gallon bucket, which is off camera here. And then I'm just using a bowl to slowly add it. Now there's a skimmer basket here. And this is pretty fine granule, so it will uh, uh, dissolve pretty easy. So what I'm doing is I'm dumping it in here. It's gonna churn in the skimmer basket. And there's a skimmer basket on my pump. And it's gonna churn and go through there. Then it's gonna get in the sand filter. And it has to get forced all the way through the sand filter. So by the time it exits the system and it's back out into the pool, uh, it'll be completely dissolved. In a subsequent video, I'm going to show you how to uh, get one of these salt water systems uh, where to where to get the parts and and uh, and how it works and, and all of that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to just do this and uh, I'm gonna add most of my salt not all of it I'm gonna go up to like the last uh, maybe bag or two I'm gonna let it churn and run plenty before I uh, before I actually uh, test it, because I want to have all this water mixed up real good, and I'll bring you back when we're doing that. Okay? Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next segment. So if you're strong enough, and most of you probably are, uh, you can pick the bag up and set it up on the ledge, and just slowly roll it over until you get a flow going and just slowly meter it in. It's a little bit faster, a little bit easier. Started out with the bucket and the, and the bowl because I'm figuring there might be some uh, maybe weaker individuals that couldn't pick the 40 pound bag up and get it up on the edge, but uh, that's the way I'm doing it, so I figured I'd show you. All right, I'm only on my second bag here, so we'll be back in a little bit.
just emptied the last bag of salt in there. I was going to wait and, on the last bag, but uh, I did some calculations and think I might be right at the edge, maybe slightly under. So uh, what I'm going to do is take a test now, and then I'm going to take a test uh, maybe tomorrow um, or later tonight. Just depends on how I feel and uh, see where we sit then before I add any more. So let's go ahead and test it out, see where we sit after eight bags of salt. And just, just for reference, this is a 24 foot round. It is four and a half feet deep with a six foot center. So I just averaged the whole depth at about five feet with 24 across. It says I got about 16 and change on the uh, gallons. Um, so uh, just to round up, we'll say 17, uh, 17,000 gallons. And hard to say exactly where I'm gonna come out. Um, again, the, the instructions on the chlorine generator say 3,000 uh, ppms. And uh, here it's telling me on the, on the bag that if I have 15,000, again, I need somewhere between 11 and uh, eight, uh, 8 and 11 bags. Uh, but that's at 15,000 gallons, and I'm at, I'm at roughly 17,000 gallons. So it's a little hard to say. So that's why I do these test strips and see what we see here. Um, currently, uh, we are a lot better than we were because the, uh, that white mark is coming up there. So we still got a little bit of time until that orange or that yellow strip turns dark. So let me wait till that happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so that strip at the top is almost completely dark. Just the very outer tips are still light colored. And I'll show you in a second here, but I think we're looking pretty sweet as far as uh, as far as our PPMs, so oops. okay, so I'll show you what we got here. So again, the top of this tab is dark, and what we're looking for is where the highest point of the white section is and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've made it all the way up to six, and then it's subdivided into, uh, looks like two, four, six, eight, ten, into uh, uh, segments of two. So we are just a smidge over six on that scale. So we look at the bottle, and 6.0 is 2.5, and we haven't quite made it to 6.2, so we're only at 2,800. And looks like, according to this chart, 6.4 is 3,040, all the way up to 7. So we probably need another bag to make it up to that uh, 6.4 mark. And let's just double check it, make sure we didn't go any higher. Nope, we're right at just a smidgey over 6. So, yeah, I'm going to probably need just one more bag. Um, and uh, let's see here. Let's see if this chart helps us figure out how many more we're going to need. Uh, if we have if we have 15,000 gallons and we're measured out at uh, 20, 3,000, it says we need like one and a half bags. So maybe two, maybe even two bags. So I know throughout the summer I'll use up a little bit more because as you splash evaporation, um, you're going to have to put in some makeup water. So I'll probably get a couple more bags uh, just to make sure that uh, we get through the summer. And uh, yeah, so that's how you add salt to your pool, or at least your above ground pool. And again, in subsequent videos, I'm going to get into the actual chlorine generator how it works, its components, and, and how to uh, hook it up. Uh, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. And hey, if uh, you want to, I've uh, got a Facebook page, uh, Encompassing Self-Reliance. Uh, you can go check out that Facebook page. Uh, basically just a community group about uh, uh, for anybody who wants to come in and, 
and share anything about self-reliance and, and doing things yourself. Um, that uh, that's kind of where that Facebook page is headed. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We do lots of videos on self-reliance, uh, HVAC, and uh, you know I work on doing metal and things around the house here, and, and uh, uh, gardening videos and remodeling videos and how-to videos and and just whatever we feel like. We're kind of like whatever around here. So today's video is about the pool. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us. And we'll see you on the next video.